here's how I optimize my Windows 11 for gaming in 2025. And trust me, you will never want to skip these settings. Whether you're struggling with low FPS, stuttering, input delay, or random lag spikes, this step-by-step -step guide is going to completely transform the way your games run. Everything I'm about to show you works on any setup, from budget laptops all the way to high-end gaming PCs. So if you really want to unlock the full power of Windows 11, stick around till the end. Let's get started. Go into your Windows settings, head over to System, and then into Notifications. Here, you'll see a couple of checkboxes like Offer Suggestions and Get Tips. Make sure both of those are turned off. These notifications are unnecessary, distracting, and can even eat up a little performance in the background. While you're still in System, scroll down to Storage Sense. Now this is a feature that tries to clean up files automatically, but the issue is it runs whenever it wants, sometimes in the middle of gaming sessions. So it's better to turn it off. We'll manually clear storage in a way that's more effective and under your control. Let's move on to the gaming specific features in Windows 11. Inside the gaming section of Windows settings, the first thing you should do is disable the Xbox game bar. Although it's designed for recording clips and capturing screenshots, in reality, it uses up valuable system resources and often causes more problems than it solves. If you need to record gameplay, you'll be much better off using dedicated tools like OBS Studio or NVIDIA Shadowplay, which are far more reliable and performance friendly. After that, you'll, you'll see an option called Game Mode. This setting can behave differently depending on your hardware. On some systems, Game Mode will improve performance by prioritizing your game and reducing background processes but on others, it may actually cause issues like stuttering or lower FPS. The best approach here is to test it yourself. Run one of your favorite games with game mode enabled, then try again with it disabled and see which setting gives you smoother, more consistent performance. Next, let's strip down unnecessary apps and startup programs. Navigate to apps, installed apps. Here, take a few minutes to uninstall any applications you never use. Every extra app sitting in the background is one more thing competing for your system's memory and CPU power, so cleaning them out helps lighten the load. Once that's done, move over to Startup Apps. This section shows all the programs that automatically launch whenever your computer boots up. Many of these are not essential, and they just waste resources by running in the background. Disable anything you don't need, especially those labeled as high impact, since these are the biggest performance drainers. While you're still in settings, head into Privacy and Security. Under the General tab, disable all the default options at the top, as most users don't actually need them. Then scroll further down and turn off features like speech recognition and location services if you never use them. Another important section here is Diagnostics and Feedback, which is constantly sending data to Microsoft in the background. Disabling this will free up bandwidth and reduce unnecessary system activity. Finally, check the app permissions list. If you see apps requesting access to things like your camera, microphone, or location when they have no real reason to use them, simply switch those permissions off. Not only does this help performance, but it also gives you more control over your privacy. Another major improvement you can make comes from tweaking the visual effects in Windows. To adjust these, search for <clears throat> Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. This will open the performance options window. From here, select the option that says adjust for best performance. Doing this will disable all the fancy animations and extra effects, leaving your system feeling much more responsive and snappy. For some people, this stripped down look might feel a little too plain, so there's a middle ground you can try. After selecting adjust for best performance, you can go back and manually re-enable a few key features that improve usability without having a big impact on performance. For example, most users like to turn on smooth edges of screen fonts since it makes text easier to read and show thumbnails instead of icons, which helps when browsing pictures or videos. This way, you still get the speed boost from disabling unnecessary effects while keeping a touch of visual clarity where it actually matters. Next, let's fine tune your mouse settings to improve precision and aiming. Head into accessibility and then click on mouse. From there, open the link to additional mouse settings, which will bring up the classic mouse properties window. In this window, switch over to the pointer options tab. You'll see a checkbox labeled enhance pointer precision. At first glance, this option sounds like it would make your mouse more accurate, but what it actually does is enable mouse acceleration. 
With acceleration turned on, the faster you move your mouse, the further your cursor will travel, regardless of the physical distance you moved it. While this might feel fine for regular use, it's a real problem for gaming because it interferes with your muscle memory. When you're aiming in a game, consistency is everything. You want your mouse movements to always translate the same way on screen so you can build reliable reflexes. By unchecking enhanced pointer precision, you disable mouse acceleration and get raw one-to-one -one input. This makes your aim far smoother and more predictable, which is especially important in competitive shooters or any game where accuracy matters. Another factor that directly impacts your system's performance is the power plan. Open the search menu, search for power plan, and then click on choose power plan. This will bring up a menu where you can customize how your computer manages power. If you're running a lower end PC or laptop, switching to the high performance power plan is usually the best choice. This tells Windows to prioritize speed and responsiveness over power savings, which can give you a noticeable boost in FPS and reduce input delay. On the other hand, if you're using a mid-range or high-end system, you'll often find that the balance plan works just as well. Modern CPUs and GPUs are efficient enough that they can deliver maximum performance when needed while still conserving power during lighter tasks. In that case, sticking with balance saves energy without sacrificing speed. The key takeaway is that your power plan should match your system. Choose high performance if you're trying to squeeze out every bit of power from a weaker setup, or stay on balance if your system is strong enough to deliver great performance either way. Now guys, open the start menu and type in services. Then click on the services app. This will bring up a long list of everything that's running behind the scenes on your PC. Scroll through the list and look for services that are unnecessary for most people. A good example is the fax service, which is only useful if you actually connect your computer to a fax machine, something almost no one does anymore. Another one is the wallet service, which handles, which handles Microsoft's which, which has digital wallet, but if you don't use it for payments or authentication, it's safe to disable. You may also see the Windows Insider service, which is only needed if you're part of Microsoft's Insider program for testing experimental Windows builds. If you're not in that program, disabling it will have no negative impact. To disable a service, simply right-click on it, go to Properties, and under Startup Type, set it to Disable. You can also stop it right away if it's currently running. Keep in mind that this step is optional, but cleaning up unneeded services can free up a little bit of memory, reduce background activity, and sometimes even shorten your boot times. Just be careful not to disable anything you're or unsure about. Stick to the obvious ones like fax, wallet, and insider, unless you've researched what a, what a specific service does. And that's exactly how you can turn Windows 11 into a gaming beast in 2025. If this guide helped you boost your FPS and reduce lag, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more performance tips. Stay tuned because even bigger optimizations are coming in the next video.